So, day six, I think, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Day seven, it's the end of week one. Don't know why that was hard to work out. Um, reflections on the week. Uh, I really like it. Um, do you know what, I did actually jump on the scales yesterday and you know, I, I never, I never play the, the numbers game with, with my weight. I know when I feel good and I, I know when I feel bad. I can always depict that my weight's around 88, 92 kilos. That's where I comfortably kind of just sit all the while. Um, yeah, uh, and you know, like I think yesterday I jumped on, on the scales and, and I was like two pound down, but it was at the end of my day. So, um, I mean, optimally you wanna healthily lose about two pound a week. Um, obviously, when you're in detox, people can lose a lot more, a lot faster. Uh, and that's generally the level of toxicity that's been shifted out of the body. Um, you do hear these stories where people drop like eight pound a week. And whilst it raises eyebrows, you know, you're kind of thinking initially, like, are you skipping meals? Or, you know, is there something carrying your momentum? If there is initially like a lot of um, toxicity within the body and that just is starting to get pushed out because you're having two big smoothies a day and that's kind of you know all the fibers is just pushing everything out then you are going to lose more weight so two pound at the end of the week like yeah man that's that's textbook um so i'm not i'm not happy um i'm not happy uh, i'm not like you know upset by that and I'm, I'm not sort of ecstatic by it i just wanted to kind of see what it was um I don't, you know, my lifestyle is quite different, I suppose, to most people. Uh, I, I, you know, putting myself into this plan for people on a nine to five, uh, or, or say, you know, like a, not even so much a sedentary desk job, but a, a normal life where you come home at any, like, you know, in the evening and stuff like that. So I was trying to pull out of the junction. Um, you see me, the days where I'm at home, I kind of skip my, my breakfast and then push it on. So I'm kind of always like trailing a meal. Uh, and I generally carry that second shake to the, to the next day. Uh, my days are quite staggered in the sense that I do like a day at home, then I'm out all day, then a day at home, then I'm out all day. Um, and I find on those days where I'm out all day, I'm, I'm kind of having three shakes in a day. That for me is working. Um, I am still snacking. Um, things like apples, almond butter. The biggest thing with this lifestyle for me is like my consumption of fat and protein has really gone up. Uh, you know, I think I'm up to about four, between the two of us, four, four jars of peanut but uh, almond butter in a week. Like that is something we would never do. Um, Am I going to lose weight because of the amount of fat that I'm now consuming? I know it's good fat, like I haven't got an issue with that at all. Um, it's as my body doesn't process fat as fuel, like I'm very, very high carb usually. Uh, you know, I'll sit there literally with a bowl of rice and steamed broccoli and, and you know, I'm, I'm good. Um, so yeah, I um, we'll see, we'll see. But. Tomorrow is technically like the weigh-in morning. Uh, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. I've just had a workout, so I'm feeling quite good. Uh, I'm now just gonna go home and have like a big herbal tea. I've got a smoothie in, in the fridge. I don't feel hungry and I know that a tea will kind of fill me up. So again, is it necessary hunger or am I gonna eat because I know that I have a meal? And this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like be mindful as to listening to my body when it needs fuel and stuff like that. Um, Tomorrow I have a long day again, I'm in London. I'm gonna be up and out the house by six in the morning. I probably won't be home till 10 at night. So it's gonna pay me, I feel, to take that third smoothie to London with me. Um, just because like my last client is at half six at night. So I generally keep it raw up until, up until that point, until my last client. And then allow myself to eat cooked food. So um, we'll see how it goes, but week one, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I've learned a lot about myself and my habits in my work week, which is which is good. Um, so tomorrow will be a weigh-in. Um, so last Monday I was 94 kilos, bang on. Um, so I'll see what I am tomorrow. I didn't take any measurements last week because I didn't have a tape measure. Um, 
but like I say, if I've lost no weight or you know anything, I probably won't even. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know if I have a tape measure this week, so I don't know. I may have to maybe just try and source one for the last two weeks, um, but we'll see. Anyway, peace and thanks very much. Bye.